Welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to continue our math test prep, where we answer a, math, a standardized math question, where we rewrite and show an equivalent expression to represent discount. Here is our question. This expression can be used to find the price of a television that is on sale for 20% off the regular price of P dollars. Here's the expression, P subtract one-fifth P. Which of the following is another expression that can be used to find the sale price of the television? And we're given four options. We're gonna first understand that this is another expression, meaning the one answer is equivalent to this expression, it's just a different way to write it. We're gonna note that we've been given this expression representing something that is on sale for 20% off, and we have a regular price of P dollars. So in our expression, P represents the regular price of the television. Notice we're subtracting something. That represents our discount. 20% off, written as a fraction, is subtracting one-fifth. So 20% can be written as a fraction as 20 over 100, which simplifies to one-fifth. So if we find this product, one-fifth of P, that's how much we're taking away. We're gonna discount it 20%. Now, we're gonna rewrite this to understand that these are all in decimal form. So we're gonna convert one-fifth to a decimal, which, when we rewrite this, is P subtract one-fifth, written as a decimal, is 0, 0.20 times P. Now, we're gonna understand that there's an invisible one in front of this variable P. That is actually 1p, and in algebra, we don't need to write the 1 in front of a variable. p is just 1p. It's understood. These are now what we call like terms. They have the same variable with the same exponent, meaning we can combine them. We can add or subtract their coefficients. So this is 1 subtract 0 0.20, or 1 and negative 20 hundredths. So we are gonna set up our subtraction where we are gonna take our coefficients one and subtract our decimal 0, 0.20, lining up our decimal points to subtract. Zero subtract zero is zero. We cannot take two away from zero, so we're gonna borrow from the one, become zero, and we bring our one over. 10 subtract two is eight, bringing down our decimal point, and zero subtract zero is zero. So we know that when we subtract, we're gonna get a coefficient of 0 0.80 or 80 hundredths times P. And if we look at our answer choices, we can see that's answer choice C. So what this is saying is when you buy something on a discount of 20% off, when you subtract that 20% off, you're gonna actually pay 80% of the original price of the TV. So there you have it. That is how you rewrite and find an equivalent expression to represent discount. Thanks for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.